Ladies and gentlemen, introducing No Objective Gaming with Aaron and Jordan. Welcome to another episode of No Objective Gaming. Yeah. This is episode 51. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Get some Metallica yeah. gears going on. <laughs> yeah. And uh, we're going to be talking about, is Dark Souls, like the trend of Dark Souls making games too hard? So Is it? Is it? Is it? Or, or is Dark Souls a fun game? But we'll be talking about that in probably 45 minutes time. But yeah, you can ponder on that little question and uh, think about it. Who did that Bruce song, the- Big Papa? Well, uh, we... Got the uh, the tr- soundtrack, the from, the musical track, the musical track from some Norwegian mad, some, mad uh, yeah, some some mad dogs on YouTube who covered it, and, and then, then I did Jordan the, is Fred Durst himself. <laughs> I did the vocals <laughs> over the top of it. It's uh, it's, it's awesome. It's a biscuit <laughs> ripoff. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? It's the least awesome thing in the world. It is, it is sick. Um, <laughs> it on. Yeah. So what 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 you been gaming on this week? Ah, you've been so, playing one single game, man. No, I haven't. You have, I'm been, gonna be, I'm gonna be shifting things up. I told you, man. So I, I finished Dark Souls one. Yeah. So I did that. Yep. Monday I started Gwen Ryan because I just walked into it and I went, mm. oh, I'll try and find this fight, this Gwen fight. Emily's here. Emily. Uh, so we jumped in. I jumped in. I got pummeled as soon as I walked in that final. Yeah. What is this? So I was watching. Uh, yeah, you were watching. What day was that? I think that was Tuesday. You were watching. Yeah, I can't remember. Yeah. Whatever day it was, I was watching and I was like. I was like, "What the fuck is this yeah, about? How are you meant to beat this fight?" Mm, I, don't see what's and I was, and I was like, I I, it. "Like I've done every fight with me having a shield and my dex weapon and just poking and mm. slashing and all this stuff like that." And then, um, I just kept trying and trying, and then I got raided by Rebs. What an absolute legend she was! Re- raiding us that day, Reba Biz, Reba Biz on Twitch. If you want to do that, and she also subbed as well, like an absolute legend. But um. All if like she just said, the easiest way to beat this fight is to parry. Mm. And so she triggered that in my head. And I went, all right, well, I'll try and parry. <laughs> God, I've never parried once in a Dark Souls yeah, game. Yeah, well, if you haven't done it, I imagine uh, the muscle memory is not yeah, there. Yeah, it's not there. So I didn't do it in Dark Souls 1. I didn't do it in Dark Souls, oh, Dark Souls 1 or Dark Souls 2. So I didn't parry once She's until like, the just end. She's like, just parry, bro. And yeah. you're like, yeah, sure. <laughs> and then I went and did it. So this is weird because everyone, I think, I don't know how many people were in chat. There's a few. And I just went, ting. Parried first time, jab, and then I parried second time and jabbed, oh. and then she's just like, "What the hell is up with Australians being gods at games?" Nah. Because I was just like, "No way!" Like I just randomly parried when I never did it once, but then I progressively got worse. Yeah, so you so you got it right. I've had this before. Yeah. You get it right, and then you're like, "How do I do that?" Or you're like, "I yeah. don't know why I can't do that." And anymore. then you tried to remember how you did it, uh, and then you get angry, and then you can't do it. <laughs> and so I went, oh, "I'm going to do something else uh, on Tuesday." So I went around, uh, gathered a new item, and killed a couple of other bosses that were side bosses, and then went to try and beat Gwen again. And that's when you jumped in. I just went, "I can't do this." And then Wednesday came around. I did the same thing. I went, "I'll try and beat him a couple of times at start." I went, "Nah, stuff it." And someone said. Have you done the DLCs? And I said, no. So I went to the DLC area, beat one boss in the DLC area, and I looked at the time and went, it's 5.30. I've got an hour left to stream. I don't know if it's going to take me an hour to beat Gwen, so let's go back and try and fight Gwen again. And I just went, tried it again, died countless amounts of times. And then I went, thought in my head, I'm like, I'm just going to wear the biggest armor I own, the strongest, most heaviest armor. I stuck it all on. I couldn't even roll. I did this real slow roll, so I couldn't dodge. Mm. Put the target shield on and had the big life scythe and then just wore the damage from him and just parried when I could and killed him. And how'd you go? How much damage did he do? Like quite a lot? Um, he took off about, I'd say about a sixth every time he hit me when I was wearing the biggest armor, but it was about a third every time with when I was wearing oh, my so light armor. So you, you halved the amount of damage you were taking. Yeah. Well, that's good. So that's... that. I. But I said, I'm like, I don't know if I've cheesed him. And everyone says, you never cheese a Dark Souls game. No, beating it in whatever way you can. It's designed that way. Yeah. You know what was interesting? When I was watching you play it, when I was getting frustrated for you, it was actually at 
um the run to the boss? No, <laughs> it was actually at the um when you're trying to heal, when you're using Esther's flask. Oh yeah. And he's just like he just has no he doesn't stop. Like there's no, no like sort of breathing room for that. He just pummels. And I was like, well how how do you even do it then? You just need to get lucky. Okay, so it was you, you, you have... need to wait until he does that hand grab. Because when he does that hand grab, he's going to grab you. And but if you miss that, you got a tiny bit of time to just sip an Estus and pull your shield back up. Yeah, because he's coming in again. Yeah, because yeah, he didn't have like a, a sort of a part where he walks slowly. He's no, just, no, no. He walked right towards you, he... and I was like, "What the fuck are you supposed to do? This is crazy." And, yeah. But I, I finally killed him, and it felt really good to kill him. Because then I could finally go on to Dark Souls 3. Yep. And so that's when I went on to Dark Souls 3 on Thursday, Friday. It was hard to go back to a newer game. They just play different. Yeah. Then the old Dark Souls, you're going to roll forward, back, and side to side. But in Dark Souls 3, you can roll on the angles and any type of way you're oh, facing. Man. So I was like, this is really good. It plays really well, but I'm getting smashed. They obviously up the difficulty. Because if you can dodge better... So, yeah, they reckon uh, people say in Dark Souls 1 are the hardest. So if you can beat Dark Souls 1, you can beat all of them. Yeah. And I, I believe I can beat all of them. It's probably like, just it's getting used to the. Thing. It's repetition. Yeah. That's all this yeah. game is. It's not, it's hard. Yeah. But it's not impossible. That's No, that's are. right. Yeah. Like the idea that, and this is why we made this episode, is that we're, we're sucking mostly because there's situations where you die. And yeah. it's like. And when ooh. you die and lose all your souls. You're pissed off. Yeah, but like, it's nothing wrong with dying in a like screwing up in a game. You die, but like, the reason we're getting pissed off is because we're not used to that anymore. No, and like we would have if we went straight from Super Nintendo era straight to this era. That's right. To Dark Souls, you'd be fine. You'd go, yeah, that's fine. This is how we've done it. Oh, it's not as, of, not as bad because when you get a game over, you don't have to start. We the sort game of the were, beginning. you know, with PlayStation One, a lot of those games were like that. Mm. Like I know, I think it was Medal of. Medal of Honor has like very few checkpoints. It was a game we used to play all the time on PlayStation 1. Yep. And it's like, same with Metal Gear Solid. If you don't save and you die, you're done, man. You have to go back to your... Like, and see with Final Fantasy, you have to go back to your last save point. Yeah, it's only save points. Yeah. And saving is not a... There's no quick save. It's just like, no. you need to find... A lot of time it's like, you need to find a save point. And Final Fantasy was notorious for that. You had to find that little glowing ball to stand on it to save. Yeah. And if you didn't get that, you just had to keep playing or pause the game. I remember pausing my PlayStation for like four days because I couldn't find a save point. I had to go out. And then I just didn't have enough time to get back and play the PlayStation. Imagine I was just sitting had there like on. A, imagine if you had a blackout or something. Yeah, I would have lost hours of my time just from that. But anyway, and then after that, I snuck in after work. I don't know why, but I was sitting there and I'm like, I'm going to put Final Fantasy 15 back in. And I downloaded the episode prompto DLC oh, and yeah. started playing that. And I was like, this is actually really good. Is that one free? No, it's uh, $7. $7.20 Australian to buy each episode. And there's three episodes. So there's, I've done Gladiolus's one. I've done that when it first came out. But then I hadn't done Prompto or Ink. Ignis. I haven't done both of them, but so I did the Promptos one and actually really cool because this is all about when the, just when Noctis gets sucked into like this demonic realm, they all branch off and they do their own things and Prompto gets caught by the, the evil guys, the evil empire. Yeah. And it's all kind of Star Wars. Final Fantasy's always been like the, the bad empire and then the rebels that are trying to yeah. overcome. This is what it's, it's always it's been. It's not even really Star Wars. It's just an old story. Yeah. Pretty Except much, Stories yeah. have been like that for ages, you know. But yeah. yeah. So they did the same thing. And you find out Prompto is actually like, he, he's a clone of the empire, of the, the leader of the empire. Whoa. And um, because he wanted, to he wanted to build the perfect army. And so he built... Cloned himself. Cloned himself. And Prompto was stolen by the other... Like the other... Rebels. Rebels or whatever. And raised oh. as... What have, I've forgotten their names of their regions they live in yeah. but he got raised as one of them and he always knew that he had a barcode on but never knew what the barcode uh, meant right so yeah it was cool it was really cool and um i'm actually really interested to do ignis because apparently it's an alternative ending to final fantasy 15 the ending of ignis so keen to see that people have asked what games are streaming this year um, so we'll talk about that at the end of the show in our little 
wrap up segment that we keep doing. Yeah, we've do noticed. That. We keep doing that. Yeah. I like it. We talk like about we, we, we talk might, about what we're doing. Yeah, yeah, we might just keep that as a regular <laughs> thing. Hey? It just this came around. It and fits we did in it. really yeah. well at the end of the show. So, so Big Papa, stick around. I know you will because you're a bloody mad dog. Yeah, you are. Um, so, so yeah, that's it. So then two games or three games: Dark Souls one, hmm. Dark Souls three, and uh, Final Fantasy Final fifteen. 15. Mate, and I am keen this week. I'll. Oh no, no, we'll talk about that later at the end. Then I'll talk about what I'm going to be. I'm uh, thinking about doing some little sneaky little streams. Oh, there you go. Yeah, of some uh, betas this end. week. Yeah, I like yeah, saving yeah, this yeah, for yeah. the end. Yeah, yeah. All right, mate. So I've so I've been playing not a lot this week. I had a bit rough this week because uh, just uh, we're organizing our house. So it's, every night is like, oh, got to give send files to these people and get copies of shit. And so I'm just like, I'm sick of it. Yeah, you're done. Had um, I'm si- like, I want this to be over. Be good if you just picked one mortgage broker to go with instead of heaps. And instead then of like going, one. instead of going like, oh, look, you really need to, you really need to like, be like, go out and get a few, get some quotes. And it, because, I guess you got to shop around because they're I mean. all different interest rates. So yeah, that's what I mean. So I'm like, I don't like this, but I, but I also you're growing up. You're being I, a yeah, man. Like, you're I, need, buy a house. I need to do this yeah. because otherwise, it's you know, it could be it's the difference between thousands of dollars. Um, so on Tuesday, I did. Um, I think we did, was it Tuesday? When did I do Overwatch stream? Uh, that would have been, yeah, it was Tuesday. Yeah. With, um, Troy yep. and Fraser. That Moo was not, cow chicken. that wasn't great. Wasn't good. Man, don't get me started. Oh on dude. Yeah, yeah. Cause you bought your old townhouse earlier. It's just annoying. Yeah. yeah I just don't like doing it. It's just, like after a while I'm like, oh. See, I haven't gone down that route yet because... I, I mixed my life up and did a child first, <laughs> but it's all good. Yeah, it doesn't matter. The shock horror of a child oh, puts the spanner in the works. It doesn't matter. No. It's all good. You, It'll all happen you, eventually. Yeah, that's life. right. Yeah. So, and I'm watching my belly because if you didn't see the clip of Jordan falling off his chair, breaking it, I'm, I've cut down to water because I don't want to break my chair and fall off it. Oh, wow. <laughs> no, I didn't I'm even notice out. that. No. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm like, good. I'm only I'm like, you, don't make, you make me feel like shit, man. <laughs> no, no, not because you're, no, I'm like, no. oh, are you, you're off the bad now. You're on no, the no. Food. bad foods for life, man. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, uh, played. Yeah, the chair broke, Big Popper. Yeah. It, it, that was why it, I fell off. I didn't fall off it because I was a Gumby. It actually bent underneath me because <laughs> I leaned back and it, and it bent because it was already breaking. <laughs> Sugar free. I do get the sugar free yeah. suppos, but they still, I don't know, I still feel like they're not that good for me. I don't no, know. They're why. not good for yeah. you. They're not good for you. But they're, but they're, they're better than sugar, I guess. But like, but like it's probably everything else I you're eating. I still feel like, yeah, everything else in my life, <laughs> my fat filled diet. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, the chair <laughs> instant. The, the chair <laughs> That's right. The chair. It was the chair. Yeah, it was um, all the chair's fault. So, yeah, so in the end, um, Overwatch was garbage. Was I'm, really? I'm really, I'm really having issues with it. My my alt account, Fred Durst account, it, it lost five hundred SR because I was playing with Fraser and Troy who are in silver. It's all it's all Moo Cow Chicken's fault. It's not no, no, no it's not no, their no. fault. <laughs> it's not their fault. It's because when I was playing with them, we, no. we got queued against people at that rank. I'm only I'm only giving them shit. And, <laughs> and so when when it when it's it does your um when it does your SR, it gives you a rank that's equivalent to the people you played against. So I didn't play against Platinum, so it's not going to put me back in Platinum. I was at 2,800, and now I'm at 2,350. I'm like, that's fucking psycho. Yeah, yeah you've got to, uh, got to cut down on that, mate. Yeah. You've got to cut down. Um, <laughs> so I've had enough. I, I, I'm just uh, pissed off. So I'm going to have to pick one of those accounts to just be my solo account um, uh, and play against people at my rank um, uh, so I can try and grind and get to Diamond as quick as I can because I need to get out of this performance-based SR bullshit. It's, uh, it's bad, isn't it? That game... <laughs> I, I, I know I could I can get out of there. It's just really tough. Uh, it's just a very tough game. Um, it, I don't know. You can grind out as a DPS. This is the, the, the meme of this game is that play DPS, get out of the rank you want to uh, get out of, and then start playing the game yeah. Yeah, later on. But you should you talk to Aaron because I think Aaron's I do. Got, I was yeah. talking to Aaron when he played with us once, and he's like. Yeah, he's like, I'm not gonna lie, man. He's like, you can't really carry as a healer. Yeah, you've got and to I'm use like, yeah, those carrying classes. I'm like, I, don't, I know. Don't worry. Oh yeah, I saw the yeah, yeah. Clip. I saw the mad singing oh, singingness the, of uh, mate, Jordan last night. Savage Garden. The Savage Garden. 
I was wondering what it was. I was like, oh, that is this. What is this? What are you singing? Yeah, yeah Scoob was telling me how much you like Savage Garden, man. <laughs> and I'm like, that's unreal. I'm going to sing you a song now. Oh, that's, that's sick. Um, so I played that. Wednesday, we did our board game stream, which is where the Notorious Chair incident <laughs> yeah. came from. It was quality. Um, so that was, that was funny. That was, that was great. And yeah, f- fell uh, <laughs> careless and free. Yeah. <laughs> That's right, Scuba. And yeah, uh, fell off my chair because we lost the pandemic. Yeah, you're like this fucking game. Yeah. And then my chair <laughs> broke. It was it broke underneath me. It bent underneath me, and then I <laughs> I just fell like a gumby. Yeah. And the best you know the best part about it, if you didn't notice, my my I gra- tried to grab the table. And you got a card in your hand. No, no, no. I tried <laughs> to grab the table and. I probably did have a card yeah, in Yeah, you did have a card. I saw it. I'm like, oh, he's still and got then, a card in his hand. <laughs> and then I knock my phone off and it goes flying off into the into the kitchen. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you can see it go flying off into the kitchen. It's quality. Uh, um, uh, yes. I um, signed by Sony Records. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> uh, they could auto-tune your voice, man. That sound good. That's how they do all their singers, don't they? Yes. You need a command for that clip. The full cha- <laughs> chair crumbling command. Um. So the board game stream was all right. Yeah. Then played Destiny to recover. That was fun. Yeah. Emily doesn't really. Emily's just getting smoked every time we play that game no, these days. You probably make the best deck. Well, no, I no. do. I make her deck good too, but I make mine good, and you I'm make, like, you make yours a bit better. Well, mine. I don't know. <laughs> I didn't make it better. I picked the best cards for her and the best cards for me. Bullshit. No. <laughs> Bullshit. <laughs> Uh, uh, and then uh, last uh, Thursday night had to had to bar it because I was I was just wrecked. Yeah. From uh, too many streaming, too much streaming. So I paused Super Metroid for a night and got on that last night yeah. and finished it. Nice. So what's finished next? It. Red Dead. Well, we can't talk about that. Okay, well, we'll we don't, end, actually no, we can't because we already know. I did a Twitter poll. Yeah. Red Dead is next. Okay. Awesome. It's happening. So you need to grab my. Sp- I do. Uh, splitter today. I do. Yeah. Yes. I'll, I do. I'll, so I'll, I'll give, give that to you. Yeah, you don't. You don't need it. No, I don't need it. No, you don't. Not at the moment. Not going to play any PS3 in, in anytime soon? Uh, no. <laughs> no, I don't think so. No. I'll have to go and grab the PS3 out of our room. It lives in our room at the moment because we watch Netflix when we go to bed. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's been watching Dark. Dude, I went to turn it on yesterday and then it, I didn't get to even watching the first no, episode. You fell asleep. Yeah. Yeah. Tired, man. Tired dad life. Kid went to bed. That's and then right. I was like, oh. Oh. Yeah, I did finish it. You What? You didn't see the end? Oh, Rebbe Biz. Yeah. Rebiz, what was the go with this host thing this morning? Because I, I, I hosted their channel, but I didn't jump in. Mm. And uh, apparently something, apparently it was at a perfect time. Tell us what happened. I don't know what happened. Okay. Yeah. Because you know how you just, I just host and I was like, oh man, I haven't got you set up as auto host. So yeah. That's weird. Went host, done. Oh yeah. And then, you just do it manually. Yeah. 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 And then um, I didn't jump in. So yeah. Anyway. Shit. Um, okay. Um, so yeah. That's it for me this week. I honestly haven't played. I didn't sit. I, this is what I mean. Every time I've come home, I haven't really done anything else. I haven't jumped on. Usually I sit down and pull out my laptop and stream the PlayStation while I watch cricket or watch the TV or something. Yeah, I've nah, done it because nah. you're back at work and it's, oh. it's back to the like I had that, that. Emily and I have been chilling out. We've just been having a good time watching Dark. It's been awesome. So I need to watch this show. It's good. Uh, if you can get over the overdub, which is fine, eh. it's good. Eh. Another Aussie streamer asked if he is the one who made me casually swear oh and then uh what and then i must have hosted at that point and she was saying no objective gaming is another streamer aussie streamer that made me casually swear and then must have hosted that must be what happened so it was like really timed <laughs> yeah, accidental. she's like whoa <laughs> accidental you weren't timing. watching were you no or? no uh, that's so the- weird because <laughs> you know on your phone now you can go to the chat yeah, like yeah. no objective chat and just go host and then shoot. Yeah, that's what I did. And okay, because yeah. I was busy getting all this stuff down here and set up. Yeah, <laughs> doing it on your own. Yeah. I was fucking <laughs> late. John's being too uh, fucking too late. That's right. Yeah, fucking Australia. Australia. <laughs> all right. Um, let's move on from this nonsense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get into the twenty new- minutes of bullshit. Yeah, that's good. Twenty minutes. Far. I can't believe it's twenty minutes of this rambling on. We just okay. talk shit. We do. But that's why people are here. 
I guess so, and they join into the shit. See, talk. like I listen to a lot of podcasts, and I, and I live for the moments of the talking shit. And ours is ninety percent shit. And I feel like maybe we've got to balance <laughs> it out a little bit more. We should get on to get on target. Okay, let's, let's go. Let's talk about games that came out this week. Yeah, yeah. and who cares? Yeah, yeah. What is it? Rusty the Lake Paradise. Okay, cool. Rusty Lake Paradise Fury, Fury on Switch. I love my brother yeah. PC. Deck Casters PC. Yeah. Evolver PC. Yeah. The Escapist Two on Twitch. Super Meat Boy on Twitch. On, on Switch. On Switch <laughs> not Twitch. Uh, uh, I don't care about any of these. I, I think Super Meat Boy is a fantastic Switch game. It probably should have been ported sure. a long time early. Yeah, sure. Earlier than that. Can we close this window and move on? Yeah, because there's not much. It's still the beginning, but I think yeah. next week something comes out. Yeah, I'm there'll be something. Sure. Something is big it, uh, comes out next week, I think. It, um, Monster Hunter World comes out in two weeks, I think. To end of January, Monster yeah. Hunter World. Well, this week is the week of betas this weekend. Oh, so we've got Monster Hunter World. Oh, you're getting beta back again. on it again. I might be jumping back on that, and we've got also Final Fantasy Dissidia NT beta started. So what the fuck that, is that? That's the Final Fantasy fighting game, where oh. it's like a Tekken-based type fight, fighting game that you play as all Final Fantasy characters throughout the whole series. There's this will be like the fourth Dissidia game in around. So this will be number four. Is Dissidia like? Is that like? The, the style, the engine of the game, right? So, that, that's and then just they their slap name. skins on top of it. Pretty much. Yeah. So they go like Dragon Ball Dissidia, for example. Not that it exists, yeah, yeah. but like they could do that. But this is Final Fantasy Dissidia. Yeah. And but, right. the, uh, the, but this Dissidia game has been out for a long time. It's actually Arcade Fighter in Japan. That's what and I mean. they're finally yeah. porting it over. And they're putting to... Final Fantasy into it. Oh, no. It's actually been a Final Fantasy fighting game in arcades oh. in Japan. And they're finally porting it onto PlayStation 4. Right. And we're going to be able to play it for the okay. first time. And... I'm going to do it because I have to do it and because I own every Final Fantasy game. I need this. Well, not every Final Fantasy because there's all the Wii games that I don't own, like the Crystal Chronicles series. So, and they're, they're, shit or they're, they're bad. Good? They're bad. Really? Yeah. Oh, that sucks. They're multiplayer though. Oh. But I don't know. I'm still not going to play them. Anyway, let's news. get into the gaming news, hey? Let's news. do that. This is a no objective gaming news update. All right. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. That's what I think of. Uh, that's what I think of this. Oh, Red Biz, thanks so much for the host as well. You're a champion. Absolute bloody legend, mate. Absolute fucking legend. <laughs> <laughs> um, this week, CD Rojek Project. Right? <laughs> Ooh, I like what you said there. Yeah. Um, R- R- Rojek. Rojek. CD Rojek Reds. Yeah. Yeah, like you, you got so, so much of that wrong. Just blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Anyway, Cyberpunk twenty seven seventy seven had an update on Twitter this week, right? But it was no like here is another trailer. It just said beep, and it's the first um, update on Twitter since twenty thirteen. So what does this mean, Jordan? What does this mean? It's funny. I like it. Yeah, just just troll in the community. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's good. <laughs> it's getting into yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's good. I reckon, I reckon. I I thought that was really cool that they actually did that. I was like, good on you. Like, community's probably going, it's coming this year. It's coming. It's going to, it's going to finally be here. But yep. Scuba's keen. We're all keen, mate. It's going to be unreal. Oh, so looking forward to it. I'm keen as, and and I think the cyberpunk kind of, there needs to be a good cyberpunk game. I feel like there hasn't been. The only good one is Deus Ex, but it's, yeah, like it's different. So okay. you've got to, like, this will be a much more in depth RPG than Deus Ex. Deus Ex is like the whole sneak, but then you get a slapped RPG element on where you can upgrade items. Is that what it is? Um, I've never played no, it. No, it's, it's, it's really close to its first person RPG. Okay. Just the world itself isn't big enough. Right. So this will be like, this will be, I, I take it, this is going to be similar size to like The Witcher with big maps, you know, and big cities and stuff. Yep. But, Deus Ex is like it. It it feels much more linear, uh, even though it's not. It is kind of open, but yep. it's it's much more linear than than a real RP, like a good RPG. All the other elements are there though, so the upgrades and and um and weapon upgrades and but the, but it's it's down scaled down like like crazy. So it's a very limited RPG, uh, compared especially compared to the first game. I think yep. they're really the first Deus Ex is why it's loved so much. Is it's closer to a real RPG. Oh, okay, but then they kind of change it over time. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, PUBG announced an information on their new loot box system, right? So they're adding a new one in that you buy keys. Purchase keys for $2.50 a key. Um, it's all in the PTR now, or it's coming in soon. And um, what they've also done for the public test server for this 
is that they've actually given you all the percentages of the drop chances out of the loot boxes. So they're taking a stand here. They are. They, and then this is like, so I've got a little layout here that they wrote down. This is like a little demo of what it will look like. So you've got the different items and the percentage chances that it may drop from the the box. Sleeveless turtleneck. Yeah. 8%. Fuck, that would look so weird. And it's gray as well. Leather boots. Yeah, sure. But no one wears shoes in that game. No. There should be like sneaking boots. That'd be sick and you can't hear any noises. <laughs> they really should just... You should be able to like have the boots there but not have the same sound or something. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I, I think it's great, but I don't know if the two loot box system is going to work. So they've got ones where you get keys and then mm. the ones where you get your points and you can still open them up from playing well, well in the game. Well, it's like most other games have loot box systems like that. Overwatch has the ones that you unlock when you grow levels. Yeah. And then the, you can also buy loot boxes. Oh, okay. So, it is, so this is like the bought loot box system. Yeah. But you can also buy the loot boxes anyway with the coins. You can buy... Purchase them anyway. Yeah, that. you could, yeah. Overwatch doesn't have that. Okay, you can buy the skins with coins you get from the from the loot boxes. Okay, so I don't know. And apparently, everyone is going to get one free key if you jump on the PTR and give it a demo, give it a whirl. You get mm. one free key, and you get ten thousand points for the other loot crates as well. Mm. So, so jump on. That's your little incentive to give it a go and try the new loot box system. So here you go. There it is. <laughs> but anyway. That jacket looks cool. It does, doesn't it? What, what is it? I wonder what that is. I wonder if that's the biker get up. Yeah, that's a pretty sweet jacket. Like, yeah. it covers your head as well. Where is it? Uh, uh, leather hoodie. White? No, that's not it. No. Oh, it looks sick, though, that leather hoodie. Scroll down. Scroll down. Sleeveless biker. Ja- no. No. Nah. That's a full sleeve thing. What is that? It must be concept art. That's just what it has to be. Yeah. It looks sick. Anyway, yeah, they said they're going to add more cosmetics to the game as well with these loot crates and all this fun stuff. So the game's just going to get more cosmetic items, whatever. I think it's a good right idea to continue focusing on that because the game's pretty fleshed out now in terms of... It is. The, I, I'm keen to see a ranking system in there. But, oh, I just yeah. mean like the gameplay. So yeah, okay, gameplay. Yeah. Yeah, it works. The, it's the vaulting and jumping oh, like and climbing is great. great. Yeah. Mm. Okay. PUBG has also added a new reporting feature. So you can know now report in the replay mode so where you can when you got your kill cam you can report in there to see if anyone's hacking so okay. that wasn't there it's just a little added update they've done this part here was weird so the upcoming dota 2 tournament that's going to be hosted in the philippines right um there used to it was actually going to be oh, like a big event i the want major to do it tournament. i want to do an episode of uh, the, the philosophy and gaming thing i'm doing on yeah. this okay. i've already thought about this is so cool yeah so it was going to be a major tournament, so a professional tournament run there. But the Philippine government, like their government, they got they are enforcing drug testing on athletes who are going to compete in professional games, including professional esports matches. So Valve ended up saying, you know what, it's not a major league event anymore. It's just going to be a standard tournament, so no one is going to get drug tested. Done. So what Valve's going to do in for this, they're going to give them points for how well they go at this to go towards their professional... That's how they're getting around. That's how they're getting around. Because Valve doesn't want, like, other... Like I say, Americans or something, or other countries coming into the Philippines getting charged. No. From random drug tests. So this sounds more like recreational drugs. Yeah, well, marijuana's getting tested. That's what it is. So I was thinking of something else. Oh, and other drugs. Yeah, fair enough. So I've always wanted to do an episode about the... about performance-enhancing drugs and esports. Okay. So, because because this isn't a, something that we've really had to deal with yet, where esports, you know, you win millions and millions of dollars if you win the Dota Two tournament, but you could have taken a significant amount of Adderall and go on hand, and then and then your heightened, senses are up, yeah. heightened reflexes, heightened senses. What we're not dealing with that, you know what no, I mean? This like, is new, isn't it? It's that's what I'm saying. Like it's really new, and we're not really we're not really focusing on what it could mean. And 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 we have to, you know, in sport we have to have a measure for everyone's at equal level, so you're not on any enhancing, mm. you know. But we're also talking about a lot of kids that probably have a lot of mental health issues because they're really good at games. Like it does, it can't, it's a double edged sword. It comes with a lot of antisocial like behaviors. Yeah. Behavior. So yeah. I think a lot of them might be already on uh, some of these medications, and then. And I reckon this is probably where Valve's going into it as well. They're probably mm. like mm, these kids. 
So, and it, you know, not even kids. We're talking about like 30 year olds as well. But yeah. obviously, recreational drugs aside, but I don't, I don't really care. But th- th- it's still, it's still str- like if we're going to have equality in sport, which is what we're, you know, the, the strongest will succeed yeah. in sport, in all forms of sport. And then we want to take eSport as seriously because I do. I want that to be there. Oh, yeah. Did you see the matches starting up tonight, mate? The Overwatch League starting? Oh, yeah. It's been going for the last few days. Yeah, man. My team's playing tonight, mate. Who's your team? You know, New York, mate. Oh, New, <laughs> New York. New York. <laughs> yeah, mate. I think it might have been last night, to be honest. No, okay. But, um, you fell asleep. Yeah, I didn't watch it. Um, yeah, like, I mean, we've really, I think this needs to be, if it hasn't already been addressed completely, there's got to be a conversation on that, the high end about... Yeah, it might be that stage is where they slowly bring it in like they did with the Olympics when all the like, Olympians were winning and they were all on steroids yeah, and all yeah, that stuff. That's it, right. was, it happened a long time ago. And that's and, why they had to bring it in. And it's different. You know, steroids, for example, mm. will not necessarily help you in esports. No. So we need, a, we need different rules for what we talk... What, what drugs can and can't be used in real sport versus what can and can't be used in esports. And that's what's really cool about this, like, because it's 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 new territory. Yeah, it is. And I'm like, and, and I don't know what the solution is. And I'm like, and I've these got... Dota championships, holy crap! I think some of them win ten mil. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, it's crazy. Because if you find out the team you played against, they were all on Adderall, then and you're like, no, no, we were, we didn't do anything. We we we're, we're just using our skill. And then wouldn't you feel cheated out of ten million dollars? I would. Yeah, I would be pissed off. And so that's yeah. what I'm saying. And I think this will be a re- make a really good episode of the show. So I will. I will uh, I will try and I've done my script for the uh, AI episode for the for the, so I just got to record it for the first philosophy and gaming uh, little show. Yeah, yeah. So I've done that script, You've but I've just got to you just got to film record, just gotta it, record it, and then nice. I've got to get a bunch of videos together. How, how are you going to do it? I remember gonna... editing. Uh, editing. Uh, he's just such a prick. Yeah, editing sucks. Um, what are you going to use to edit it? I reckon you should use something easier than Premiere. I'll try and What's find. easier than Premiere? Movie Maker? Uh, Movie, Maker's, shit, Movie Maker's shut now. Movie Maker's gone for good. Good. They took that down. Uh, Microsoft working on a new one. But, mm. uh, it's more for 3D, so I don't think it's going to be any good. Um, there's one called Shotcut, which is open source. Oh, okay. You could try that. Try that, yeah. Edit out our podcast, cut the snippets off that on Shotcut. Okay. Uh, just don't play around the settings too much or it will turn like shit. So uh, it, it, they're all hard, but Premiere is definitely head of its league, but it's, it's, it's tough. And if you don't have a Mac, you cannot use like your, um, your Final Cut Pro, which is nah. awesome. But yeah. So Big Papa said that, um, that if they would, they'd do it like they do in the Olympics because someone's has ADHD Adderall affects them differently. That's right. Yeah, so, well, if they actually got ADHD, it won't affect them at all. But if they're hocking off their medication to some other dude that doesn't have it, it's going to affect them in a totally different exactly. way. Exactly. I'm talking about the illegal use yeah. of it. So, like, not. They used to do that at school. A prescription, having a prescription for a drug and taking the drug, I don't have a problem with. It's it's then, you know, getting the whole team on, on Adderall or Ritalin or something like that. Yeah. And then. Get on it. Get yeah, on it, mate. And then they go, they go off while they're playing these games. Yeah. I yeah. just think. We've got to we've got to have that conversation. I think so, we do. Anyway, let's move on. Let's move on. Um, Showtime president, he was asked about the Halo TV show that was announced ages ago, years and years ago. That was di- that was going to be directed by Steven Spielberg, but uh, they, he just said it's still moving forward, and uh, the fans will be pleased. That's all they said. So nothing else has been released about that Halo TV mm. show for Showtime. Sounds like they're buying time there. <sighs> they are. They probably thought, oh, hopefully people just forget about it and uh, then we can move on. Yeah. Um, Jordan might be able to tell us about this. This is the Overwatch uh, PTR stuff. They nerfed, nerfed Mercy. This is good. Does she need to be nerfed? Yeah, uh, this is nerfed? A... Nerfed? Does she need to? Uh, he... It depends on who you are. I'm a support main. Okay. So, in apparently... game. so I... You like Mercy? Well, I, I actually had... I actually did enjoy playing her. They they really struggle with this. So she had she her old um ultimate ability was a was a resurrect that had an area of effect. So mm-hmm. it would resurrect any dead people within a certain area, any dead characters. And, and so they they I did they did nerf that previously. They nerfed her. Yep. Yeah. So they moved. They turned it her no um, longer instant. And that's right. Yeah. It's a it's a cooldown ability okay, now. Yeah. But it only reses one person. All right. And so they made her ultimate ability where she flies up in the air and she has like lots of 
her healing is amplified and her beam tracks to multiple characters. Okay. Um, so what they've done now is they're, they're lessening the impact of the uh, charge. They took so what they that? basically do. You don't get a bonus charge. So okay, what you, you used to do is you, you... Let me explain it. Yeah, you go you don't I don't know watch. anything. Don't worry, I'll explain it to you. Yeah. So Mercy goes in. She can resurrect one person and then you, you could pop your ultimate... Valkyrie, yep. and you get instant cast, and then you could res, and then you got an extra charge to res a second person. They've yep. taken that away, so they're taking the bonus charge. Yeah, so you still them. only have one person per thirty seconds. Yeah, um, and they also decrease the speed boost provided by Valkyrie via Guardian and reduce Angel. the duration of Valkyrie as well by fifty percent. I didn't know that, and the duration by twenty seconds and down to fifteen. Okay. Oh, she is going to be garbage. Yeah, that's I didn't know that. Because if they if they nerf her resurrect was the was a real problem, but Valkyrie itself was a is a really strong healing ultimate. But like I just don't understand like you can deal with her. This is Blizzard for you. They make the best character really shit, and then you stay with that character, and then she should be really good again when they try and balance her out again. I just don't understand why why being as this is this is why I think people get frustrated playing support in this game. Like, people insta-lock DPS. So as soon as someone comes into the game, they just pick a DPS and go, yeah, I'm not changing. This happens all the time. Yeah. But I don't know... I don't really know why... Why we can't have overpowered or strong healers. Like, we've got, we've got strong and ridiculously overpowered, you know, um, damage characters. Like, what... Uh, I always hear people complain about McCree. Is he a pain in the ass? I don't know. No. Nah. No? Nah? He just hangs around. And just he's fine. Pops. Okay. He's fine. He's really difficult to use. So he has a high skill ceiling, but mm. you have to, you have to be good to start playing him. Otherwise, you won't get kills. Okay. But like the healers in the game, a lot of them just, a lot of them are just really easy to kill, and it's tough. It sucks. I play healers all the time, but it's it's really tough because you play at a rank where no one helps you, no one keeps you keeps you alive because. They don't actually understand their role. Like, oh, yes, it is to kill people, right? But it's also to protect the healers. They're playing like Call of Duty. Yeah. yeah. And I'm like, go and play a different game if that's what you want to do. Yeah. I'm like, it's not your job. This is a, Go this is jump a... on World War Two. Piss off. Yeah, this is, this yeah. is a role-driven game. And, and then jump in competitive matches as well, which is really pissing you off because you want to get up. I, I, want, I want only a competitive experience where everyone communicates and everyone's trying their hardest. Like I don't mind. old CS, go, like CS days back yeah, in the yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Where you always call out which direction the enemies are coming from. Mm-hmm. You're doing you're shot calling and stuff like that. It's it's. I wish it could get there. It's just got a really strange community, and and the developers don't really seem to know what direction they want to take that competitive aspect of the game. I think they're just watching and listening to forums. I think that's all mm, they're doing. They're just, they've got to be really careful yeah. of that. Why would you listen to forums all the time? Yeah, I, I, but they, they but Blizzard are good at doing that. They're, good they're at not bad. Games. No, yeah. that's right. Um, it's tough. Anyway, let's, anyway. let's not talk about it. Um, 343, the Halo new creators, since Budgie's gone, drop that. Uh, they said that Halo 6 isn't going to be released this year at all. It's not. They said no Halo 6 because everyone was like, it's coming this year because it's two years and they've always released a Halo game every two years. And they said, no, nah, it's not happening. But they said there's probably going to be a trailer and that they have been working on something for the HoloLens. So the HoloLens is Microsoft's VR unit. So, see what happens at uh, E3. They just wanted to stop all this rumors about Halo 6 coming out this year. <sighs> yeah. That's dumb. That's really dumb. Putting time into VR instead of getting a new, like, a, a console-saving well, game it out. It would have been their exclusive game for Xbox. And it's it's, you know, up there with Uncharted and... Um, last people of love us. this game. Like this is this is the ha- this is this is why people bought Xboxes. Hmm. Otherwise, what have you? Like I don't get it. Well, you're a Crackdown. Thank goodness you've got Crackdown. That's <laughs> really fantastic. <laughs> oh yeah, I can't wait for Crackdown. Overly loved game. Like I just, oh, it's so disappointing. But who knows? The trailer might be amazing, and that will keep the hype going. So. Yeah, but it, it uh, uh, it's fine. I just think they've prioritized wrong. Yeah, and this is just. <sighs> I don't know. I don't even know what they're doing for the HoloLens. They just said, uh, just just wait for it. Just see. Yeah. Anyway. Right, whatever. Sea of Thieves closed beta dates were announced and it's going to start on the 24th to the 29th of January. But these are only for people that put their details down back in the 1st of December. So no one else can put the details down. It's all closed. So if you didn't 
put your details down and get into the beta, you're you're done. You're shit out of luck, mate. said Minecraft in 4K, though. Oh, yeah. That's right. On the Xbox One S. Um, yeah, I don't know. Um, Sea of Thieves. I I don't know. I'm keen. I I I am actually keen for Sea of Thieves, but I will play it on the on the PC. But it's cross platform play, so I guess it might be kind of cool. I'll play with Colin because I know Colin's keen for that. I almost guarantee. That's if Colin wants to play another game with me because we both signed up for Star Wars and I only played once and then never jumped back on. (laughs) I almost, I almost guarantee this is just another. Bad multiplayer game. You reckon? It's not going to... PUBG, man. PUBG's the killer. PUBG yeah. is... It's it's like when everyone goes to play a different RPG and then they realise it's not World of Warcraft, so they go back to World of Warcraft. Yeah. And I did hear today as well, or this week, that PUBG sold, has sold 3 million copies on Xbox now. Yeah, it's a lot. So... That's like a triple A release. Yeah. It's not a triple A game. No, it's nowhere near it, especially on Xbox. It's still... It's in the early access oh. stages of the Xbox. So it's like when we played it back on PC ages ago. Oh. That's what it's in. Oh, so it still doesn't have vaulting, doesn't have any of that shit. It has all the vaulting in that, but it has the other issues with server issues. Oh, they, right. They got rubber banding out of the control. They got lag. They got a lot of bad stuff in there. You were keen for Sea of Thieves, but uh, too many games coming out that look way better, Scooby uh, said. It's, it's true. There is. But I'm... This is what I mean. Yeah. Like, they, they've sort taken of like too when, long. It's sort of like when For Honor was coming out. People were like, For Honor, For Honor. And it came out and then it was like just sort of around. It's just, it's just and like. That was uh, like, yeah, that was last year when we were talking about that because yeah. remember Shane was like, yeah, it's going to be cool. And then I was, I was skeptical because I yeah. went, it doesn't have its own servers. And yeah. I was always like, nah, it's going to be crap. And then but, it ended up being really bad. And now they've only got their own dedicated servers to that. So. But like, mm. I don't, I don't see what, what's going to, what about this? I don't even know what the draw is here. I honestly don't know. I think it's a massive map multiplayer where you can just go farm loot which is kind of fun like a Diablo but imagine if you could get your loot and you could lose your loot because you have to get back on your ship whoa shit do it <laughs> get the shit out of you and then um the monkey boy mate <laughs> thank you so much for the follow let's get the, scared the shit out of me. <laughs> That, uh, that needs to be turned off during the podcast. Um, <laughs> that's going to make everyone listening to the audio version go, what the frick? <laughs> that's good, though. It's yeah. good. Welcome to the family. Don't even be sorry. <laughs> don't, don't, don't even be sorry. That was awesome. That was um, good. I honestly, like, I get that, but w- we have that. That's Ark, Survival Evolved. That's yeah, yeah. every one of those other games that have existed, even on console, Ark is a, is a Maybe they're hoping like the Pirates of the Caribbean trend comes back and pirates are huge. <laughs> Welcome to fucking 2003. Good on you. Hey, it could come back. You know, zombies. Johnny came Depp back. threw a phone at a woman's head, so it's all gone now. <laughs> he did, man. He did. He pegged it at her. What? What for? That's, oh, I don't know. That's pretty good, though. <laughs> like, Fuck you, bitch. Yeah. Probably um, following around. So yeah, I, dude. Seriously, like, I don't, I don't see what the draw. I, ever, you guys are all talking about see if these. Yeah, like, I'm like, I'm like, what? I'm like, what is this? <laughs> like, am I, am I on a podcast with fucking like children? I'm like, <sighs> dude, it's a, it's a pirate game. It looks kind of cool. <laughs> it doesn't go like I've played games like that for yeah. Like Borderlands like is not obviously not the same. No, it's but, not. But but like you got run around and you loot. Well, congratulations. Like, yeah. I don't really care. Like, these games always sound good in theory, and they almost never work the way they say they will. It, this, the part in this game where it's like the, where you can lose your loot, you know what that reminded me of? The Division. Because I remember getting so hyped for the Division trailers, mm. and they were saying, you know, once you've finished your raid, you've got to get back in your plane, and you've got to shoot up that flare for your plane or your craft to come pick you up. But then... If anyone else sees that flare, they know that someone's going to get a pickup. So everyone else in the area of their MMO can come and kill you and take your loot. I never saw anyone talk about this after it was released. It was there, but it wasn't a big deal. It should have been massive. People should have been raiding the crap out of people. And then when you find out that Divinity wasn't really an open world MMO, it was division. like, oh, yeah. the division. Div- <laughs> you had to... You had to go to the dark zone to make it yeah. that MMO experience instead of it was a single player co op game. I, 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 it was bad. It was all bad. You, ju- 
yeah, I think I think people just have we put on blinders for these for for newer games like this when we go, oh, but it's this, and oh, but this one's new and it will do it differently. Yeah, and well, that you know what, there's diamonds in the rough like PUBG where it's new, it's different. They've done it right. How often have we seen that though? How often do you get the new battle royale game that's like, wow, okay, this is the one. Like we know we've got the right one yeah. now. And and the, I reckon it's coming down to small publishers that are doing things new and different. That's right. I think, it, it, yeah, I and, actually think that's really, that's very and true. And this is Rare. This is Rare doing this and Rare is big now. Like Rare's the one that did Banjo-Kazooie and mm. they did all them. I don't, I don't know. Well, I, I'm still keen. I am still keen because I think it would be fun. It'd be a fun multiplayer game to, to cruise around with mates and just explore random places. I think that's why I'm keen for it. Yeah, you have the mind of a child sometimes. Uh, yes, with, <laughs> yeah. with this, you have that it like sounds cool. you have like you know you know what just just wandering around and looking for in game in game currency. Yeah, I'm like you're like that sounds fun, and I, I appreciate that. I I know that does, but but there's still. Think about all the times you've done that in games and then you've done you that for bored. a week yeah. and you're like, oh, I'm on to the And next it thing. turns into a Diablo effect yeah. where I'm, I can't this, do it anymore. My point is this is not what's going to fix the problem of exclusives that uh, Microsoft has at the moment. No way. And this is not the answer for it, but this is all that's coming out on yeah. Xbox. And so, fair enough. I would be like, if this is all that's coming out, we'll get hyped. Yeah, but it's not the solution. No. So it's disappointing. I'm but... just generally intrigued about it and I think mm. it will be kind of fun. All right. So Xbox also... <laughs> Scuba! Oh, yes, that's absolutely right. We, thought, be... we thought that would be fun in Destiny 2, Skeddy. Yeah, and you know what? That was absolute trash. And I don't want to buy... That was the trashiest game I bought in 2017. That was the only game I gave back to the shop. I really need to give that... I need to sell that fucking game. <laughs> you need to sell it. All um, right, moving on. Yep. So Xbox announced, you know, how they were changing their achievement system. They've been talking about it for a good eight, nine months now. Yep. So they released some more information about it, and apparently it's going to be called Korea. And so you're going to you're going to have like achievements to complete quests in your career, which will grant you levels, uh, like kind of PlayStation levels. You'll get levels, and you'll unlock items for your avatar, like clothing for your avatar, because apparently they're revamping the avatar system that was on the Xbox 360. So that's not really here in the Xbox One, mm. and so see what happens there's still going to be that point system but this is on top like reinventing the wheel kind of thing sure it's a i think it's it's good it's always good to have m- like meta games and stuff like that in on your console i just again with the with the priorities i'm like oh that it, Microsoft does this, so it's, Microsoft doesn't develop games, right? But Mi- they've got a few. But, yeah. Well, Microsoft develop doesn't develop. No, it's, they, they publish. They publish. Yeah. So this is the Microsoft team Mucking sort of around. developing with their own stuff. So fair enough. They they're not they're not in the business of developing games. I just think this costs money. Right. This takes time and money that possibly could be used on something else. You know. And what? the achievement system was pretty good in it, already. Like people love achievements. Oh, yeah. Well, it was the first of its kind. Exactly. It's they better were, than trophies. I still think it's better than trophies. Um, but I mean, that's just I, me. I don't think so. Because you only get... So the bad thing about achievements are is that you can go through the campaign and you can get 30 achievements for every single one. But then you can do the super hard achievement that is ridiculous. Out of this world, only 70% of people have done it. And you know what you get? You get five gold points for it. Oh, uh, Okay. It doesn't weigh up where I like the trophy system where you've got your bronze. You got all those bronze trophies for all the plebby ones. You got mm. your silvers that are somewhat hard. Gold's and then you got the gold game. and there's multiple golds. But then oh, if you yeah. finish everything, you get the main platinum. Mm. And that's for the people, the completionists. They go for the platinums. Okay. I actually, yeah, I can appreciate that. Yeah. I actually see that. I understand that a bit more now. Uh, how you going, Drip Dry? What's up, man? The boss, yeah. Drippity Dry. Yeah. My man. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Um, yeah. A bit, a bit I think that- it said something interesting. Every year, Xbox gets closer and closer to copying PS4. Um, I just don't. Yeah, I don't. Well, I, I, I think play, I, PlayStation I just, had time to work on it. Mm. They had a long time to work on it. They had well, they had it wrong. They had it a bit iffy at first. Right, so Xbox comes out with achievements straight away, and and people love them, and they're good. And from, they from day had nothing. One. They like for the start of PS3, we had nothing. Yeah, exactly. And so they and so they're on the back foot, which means if you, it means you can come out of the shadows essentially with a better system. 
Yeah. Because if you're working from everyone thinks you're shit, then when whatever you produce after that is automatically better than what you had first. Yeah. So I I guess I understand. I still like achievements. I like the the growing the the ever growing number. And That's I like the guy number. that got to the first million. Oh, is there someone who's got a million? And he, they gave him a custom Xbox. Oh, that's fucking sick. Yeah. So that's awesome that they yeah. did that. Yeah. Um. Anyway, I, I'm I'm interested to see what they do. <laughs> Drip Try said to Big Papa, every year consoles get closer and closer to matching PC. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hey, it's true, but we still don't have like a global achievement system. We've got like unlocks and achievements in Steam, but they're not like a global source where you glow up like. But I, I don't think gamers on. Steam, PC ach- care Steam about achievements. It? No, I don't care about them. They're, they're like they're the bottom of the rung. They are. I, it goes. You flush them down the toilet. Yeah, right? I used to. I never. I've never ach- achievement hunted before on Xbox. Never. But trophy hunting, I've done. You because, have done. Yes. Because I went. Oh, dude. I've. Uh, it just. It pulls me in because I'm like. Oh, there's that one more. And you can see the percentage of how many people have that achievement as well. Yeah. So and, you're and they had that go, on Xbox as well because Ollie and I were going through his a little while ago and it was really cool seeing. Because your percentage of, the, of his friends that have got it, and he's he's obviously got way more than any of his friends on Xbox. Yeah. And then it gives you like the worldwide percentage as well. And yeah. I was like, it's like fuck, man, you got some that barely anyone have got. I know that's like the one in Final Fantasy X I got. It was like two point eight percent of everyone that owns this game has that achievement. I went, oh, that's sick. Yes. Consoles don't want to match PC. Why would you want to go down six levels? <laughs> yeah. On top of the competition doesn't matter. Yeah, I mean, I think PC just doesn't compete. It's out. It's it's not They're, a competitor. They've done what they've done for generations, mm. and um, there will be PC games. Yeah, there will and always there will be, be PC. Yeah, I reckon there will always be. PC There will always games. be some form of PC. There game. and then there is console, and console has been the first thing that most people have touched because who can afford a gaming PC when they're twelve years old? Mm. Um. I think it's when you want to play those games that aren't on. Like the only reason I started playing PC games was because of World of Warcraft. If it wasn't for that game, I would still be playing console yeah. to this day. And I wouldn't own a gaming PC. There's just some things you can't experience on a console. No. And I think consoles are slowly getting towards it as like, you know, how you can now have a, a 64 man raid on a console. We've big popper. You got to go back and watch our PC master race episode. Yeah, he should. He should. Yeah, we've, he should we've, go back we've and debunked to it. all these arguments, mate. Yeah. Four t- you get to pay four times as much, but you also save a shit ton on games. Like, we pay barely anything for games. So, with uh, Scuba, he said uh, you'd rather a platinum trophy when he finishes a game. And so, that, I think I agree with that. Um, but so, for the middle ground stuff, yeah. bronze trophies, I feel like are all like Steam achievements. I, go, the I, don't, run, I yeah. don't give a shit about But. If while you're playing a game, you're getting 20 gamer score for doing certain things, that still gives you more to your to your total, right? It does. And so, I know the bronze trophies give you nothing to your overall level when yeah. you're leveling up on, on yeah. PlayStation Network. As man, it, this is crazy. We're going into achievements now. What that's the hell all right. We, we, this podcast is a joke, man. Yeah. Like, <laughs> we do people whatever. don't care about this. No. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. <laughs> so, I honestly, yeah, I think that there's... Pros and cons to both, I, but I don't know which one I prefer. And honestly, I don't care. I'm wearing an achievement undershirt, but it's not to do with me liking achievements. So it's to you liking that liking that, achievement that channel, hunter yeah, the channel. Yeah. So like, I don't, I don't think, um, I don't really care. I'm not one of those people who even goes out of their way for the trophies. So yeah, you I'm, are. You, you don't want, you, oh, the only reason I wanted that one platinum, the one platinum I own, is because it was Metal Gear Solid yeah, Three, right. and I freaking love that game. I honestly think everything will eventually turn into a very close version of PC gaming. Yeah, that's generally where they go. Like, look at Xbox One X. It's pu- pushed itself to be like, this is a very powerful console. It's well, like- look at like what Microsoft is doing in general. They're making all their games cross-play with PC. You can buy it on Xbox and you can play it on PC. It doesn't matter anymore. If you own an yeah. Xbox, you can play all your games on your computer. And I think that's what Drip Drive is saying, yeah. yeah. I think it is getting very close. Um yeah, Scooby said I've seen some. But I think Sony's have... always going to be the exclusive one, and not they're always going to be the one that's going to be the last person to jump. Because I don't think PlayStation cares. They've done their thing for so long, and they've overall been very well since the beginning of time. No, it's not. Uh, it's definitely not the same price, Big Popper. There's a, there's a legitimate price difference in uh, well, PC games too. PC gaming, yeah, you get a lot cheaper. Like yeah. I can buy 
if I wanted to buy, say, at the beginning of last year, I wanted to buy Resident Evil 7. Mm. So I went, Why? I could buy Resident Evil 7 on... Oh, no, Resident Evil something 6. Oh, Resident <laughs> Evil 7. I'm like, I want a Resident Evil 7. I could go PlayStation. Yep. Oh, it's $80. Yeah. I could find a key for $53 yeah. for, a play, uh, for a PC version. Mm-hmm. And I went, you know what? At this point in time, there's too many games coming out. I'm going PC. Mm. It doesn't matter. I would, and it doesn't, I, I don't, I'm in that. I, I like to play on console because I like to get trophies. Dude, I buy a I lot know. of console games. Yeah. But yeah. I buy them secondhand. I almost exclusively buy. And that's like me. I did that. I got now. my Bloodborne for twenty bucks, the Steelbook edition, just because I'm like, sweet, this yeah. game no one cares about anymore. Back I'll when buy we now. were back when we had PS One and that laser, and you'd you'd fucking scratch the shit out of those discs. Yeah. You didn't want to touch someone else's shitty game. No. Right. You needed a brand new game because that thing would bust up but really now with, easily. With Blu-ray, especially, it's harder to scratch. Yeah. They, they, they last longer. They're they good. those they don't get damaged at all. <laughs> Scuba, I think I agree. What did he say? All you need is a PS4 and PC and you're set. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. At the moment, until we get something from Xbox as an exclusive. Let's rush through this last bit of news and get <laughs> okay. to the real part. Darkest Dungeon got put onto the Nintendo Switch. It's going to be released on the 20... On oh, 18. Yeah, 18th of January, I was meant to say. No one cares. Um, I did see this. Apparently, it's really good, though, Darkest Dun- Dungeon. Yeah, apparently, it's th- unreal. Okay, cool. Okay. Good. So, Total War. Is going to be the next game. Is going to be set in China. Yes, I did see this. This looks cool. Yeah, uh, we were going to play the trailer, but we're on my laptop, so don't worry about it. And um, this is going to be released in spring. I don't know if it's spring Australian because I got this nah. from Kotaku. So, oh, oh, so yeah, my, maybe it is. Yeah. Um, this is what I want to show people. This part here, the, the Dark Souls trilogy box set has been announced for Japan. It's going to be released on the twenty fourth of May. I hope it comes to the West, and I hope it comes to uh, to Australia because. It looks goddamn sexy, mate. It looks amazing. Okay, so this is a collector's thing, obviously. This is a collector's edition. So wow, this looks cool. It looks unreal, and we'll stick it up in. Is that got like? Is that got um? It does. It's got freaking book uh, stand. Book stand. Yeah. You knew what I was looking at too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You read my fucking mind. There. <laughs> I knew what you're looking at. I was like, has that got fucking book book uh bookends? And look how awesome that looks. Get hyped for that, but it's only in Japan at the moment. Only release date there, so that's a bit sad. <laughs> Rep's like, oh my god, I know. Yeah, it looks cool, and and then on top of that piece of news, Dark Souls One is getting remastered. Four hundred dollars, Scuba said. For that. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit! <laughs> um, Aaron, that's your birthday and Christmas present, yeah, buddy. Sorry, uh, so I have to sell a, a kidney or something. I don't know. Um, Dark Souls One remastered. But not this. It's not just coming out on Xbox One, PS4, and PC. It's getting released on Nintendo Switch as well. Oh. So that was the biggest piece of news that came out. Everyone's hyped about it's being, it's being remastered. Mm. And so is this Dark Souls, Dark Souls Trilogy, is this a remastered? The remastered edition. Oh, okay. Yeah. The remastered version of it, uh, Dark Souls 1 is coming out on the 15th of May. Yep. And so then the Trilogy box set comes out on the 24th right. of May. So nine days later. Um, <sighs> See you, Drip Dry. Thanks for dropping me. You're on. out. Catch you, mate. Jesus, I need four hundred dollars and four hundred dollars and move to Japan. Yeah, yeah, you can't buy it from there, but geez, it costs a lot. It would, it definitely would. Yeah. All right. Well, let's get into our main topic then. The uh, the part everyone's hanging out to listen to. Yeah, they really want to talk about Xbox versus PS4 versus PC. <laughs> we again. could do an X, we could do that every day, every yeah, week, yeah. and they'll everyone will be having arguments. Yeah, so, doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the Dark Souls trend. Is it making a comeback? Oh, is it? No. No. No, it's not. What is it? Oh, is it, is it making games too hard? Is this Dark Souls trend making games too hard? Um, I'm going to... We're not even going to answer that until the very end. No. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about the challenging part of games already. And what's, So let's talk about the hard games you've played in your life. Very, very few. Very few. Uh, Neo. Um, yeah. And then, jeez. But even go back to back in the days when games were all hard. Okay. So really hard? I played Resident Evil 2. That was fucking hard. Yeah. Um, It's not even the new trendy games because I believe it's just, I don't know, There's the, the retro games are coming back. I'm so what think- comes along with retro games is the hard... The hardness of them games. I think I, I think the first Splinter Cell for me was pretty hard when I was young. I was about thirteen playing that. Mm-hmm. that was I, I remember playing that, and I was god awful, and I ended up putting it down. 
Yeah. Because I, I couldn't play it. I was like, what is this? Some parts of that game are very tough. Um, but I did, I did love it. I loved it so much. So good. Best stealth game at the time. And because I didn't know about Metal Gear Solid 2, which was a much better stealth. Well, I mean, Splinter Cell stealth elements are better than Metal Gear Solid stealth elements, but they're not the same. It's a much more realistic. Metal Gear Solid's a much less realistic game. Mm-hmm. But um, the, I, that's probably one of the harder. I never really played games. Like, you really had to go into a niche market, like a Jap- almost JRPG sort of uh, more unheard of games to play. Um, to play friggin' uh, the harder games on, on my generation, so PS1, PS2. Yeah. Otherwise, you were playing like you know, Die Hard Trilogy. Like, that's not that hard. Yeah, that's basically like Metal, Medal of Honor. There's, these are very mainstream games. Yeah. I, uh, I think most of the ones that I can remember from back in the days were the platformers. Platformers have always been the bane of my existence. I mm. can't do them. I, I struggle at them things, and they've always been hard. Like, from anything from Mario, I could never get out of the first world. I was garbage at them. I could never do it. Everyone's talking about selling the kidneys and buying loot Bu- boxes. Buying, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> um, I just um, think... <sighs> and, and mind you, I did play a lot of JRPGs, but they weren't hard because they were only hard to a certain point and then you grind out levels and it gets easy again. That's all mm. they have been. So it's always been, you can do it, you can do it, you can do it. But platformers are so damn hard. And I think that's, that was the hard games of their time. Mm. because cr- like I went back and tried to play Mega Man X the other day. Bullshit. That game, I could not get past it. It was so hard. Like oh, I, I guess could... I played Super Metroid last night. Yeah, you finished the game as well. Finished the game in uh, playtime of eight hours. I'm not sure that's very, very good. I'm not, I'm not even, oh, I'm not even no, sure. No GDQ uh, speed no, run no, time. No, but, but... but I just, I think it's a tough game. The boss fight, like for the most part, the tough part during the, the, the meat of the game is just finding your way. Yeah. Right. But then the boss fights are all hard. I want only one of the bosses I beat first try. Only one. And that's unheard of in the games I play now. The games I play now, if there's bosses or yeah. like a tough part of the game, you still do it first time most of the time. Because it's meant to be done in a... Fl- it's meant to flow. A lot of them like movies. Okay, be- yeah, yeah. Because they're changing the pace of games now. Yeah, um, they are. That's true. So you're then- meant to... like, And that whole... I think I was talking about the other day about how <laughs> I'm done with this whole... They add a story mode into a game now because people call it too hard. Yeah. Like Horizon Zero Dawn. Horizon Zero Dawn. Yeah, that's right. Scuba said, thank fuck that game is finished. Yeah, he was talking to me last night that he didn't want to see me play that anymore. (laughs) He wants to see me get to Red Dead and he's going to this week. That's cool. I'm keen to see you get to Red Dead. Such a good game. I will watch it because I have never, I've never seen anything. Oh, of the whole campaign. That's never good. Seen, never seen one cutscene from the whole campaign. Oh, dude. It's... I was sheltered when that game came out and there was, I've not seen a thing. The only thing I've seen is the online. That's all I've seen. The in online that game. Was, it was, it was the, it was the sort of the beginning of their like attempts at what turned into GTA five. Yep. And that's the only thing I've ever remembered. The music makes you so sleepy. Yeah. Um, I, yeah, this, this really, there's really um, a lot to be said for what Dark Souls is doing now. Yeah. Uh, Bloodborne, you know, what they're doing. I guess I played Bloodborne when you came over that time. <sighs> yeah. That was, you, you farmed up some blood vials for that me. It was fucking Because I had enough. That game is tough, man. And I, back in the days, I, uh, like, see, the hard games I would have played, well, I played before that, were just platformers. That was it. They mm. were the hard games for me. And Kingdom other Hearts, than, you reckon that was a hard, that's a hard game. It's... It's tough. But it's not... It's, I guess... It's probably kind of in between. It is. And it's like... Because like, the notorious hard games that people talk about are like the Dark Souls series. Mm. And you've got, you've got your Demon Souls. And then they talk about the old ones. Like Zelda 2 is notoriously hard. People... Some people just say this was ridiculous for its time. Zelda 2. Zelda 2 on the, on the, on the NES. Oh. Not even on the SNES. NES. So Zelda 1 came out. And that's tough enough. But then Zelda 2 came out and it was god awful. So hard. I feel like Dark Souls and Diablo are both making oddly timed comeback. Um, I don't know. Diablo. Diablo's always been there, but they're just making it better. Mm. That's all they are. And I would, I'm surprised to, I am interested to hear what they've, 
going to announce this year with Diablo. I reckon they're going to announce something. Speaking of Diablo, I also played the first Diablo, which I think was a pretty hard game uh, for me when I was yeah. playing. I was 10 years old. Yeah. So that would be trying tough to play, for a 10 year old game. Like, trying to play this game when I'm 10 years old. You, I think the tough thing about it was, is you'll be like, how do I level up? Because those games require thought when you level up your character. You're like, where do I want to put my spells? What do I want to use in this game? Does Diablo yeah. 1 have that? And back then you didn't know. Like me playing Final Fantasy VIII, I did not understand the junctioning system. Junctioning? Yeah, there's a junction system and you junction magic to uh, stat points on your character, which increase the stat points. But it all depends on what type of magic you're junctioning to your character. God damn it. I'm already lost. It's, it's, it was tough. And when you're young, you're not reading. No, Because no. they have tutorials, Ryan, on how to do it. They're like, hey, this is how you do it. Well, we'll teach you right now. It's a 10-minute conversation. Oh. So what do you do with that? Skip, 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 skip. And then you play the game. And then you're like, oh, it's getting a bit hard. I'm going to grind out levels. Nowadays, yeah. you'd be like, oh, I'll just watch a YouTube video on yeah, it. Yeah, some much tell faster me, yeah. because. <laughs> When you were 10 back in the day, you didn't have that. YouTube didn't exist. No. Uh, Big Papa, we talked about that on uh, the... Yeah, that was a few shows the ago. The Game Awards episode. Remember that? Ugh. Yeah. That episode? Was that the one where we were before the before the 24-hour stream? No, that was the PSX episode. Oh, yeah. So, yeah that I'm was a god-awful getting... episode. Yeah. Don't ever listen to that episode. If you want to listen to a lot of crickets, go and listen to that episode. <laughs> that, was, that was fucking Cicada show. Cicada. <laughs> like, the Cicada, uh, hashtag Cicada life. Yeah. Um, um, do you like the challenge in games? Do you like the challenge in games? Well, I do now. You do now? I do now that I played Neo. And uh, I, did I, like, I did like Super Metroid as well in so, the end. The end of last year was the first time I ever played a Dark Souls game. Yes. I thought it was tough when I first jumped in. I couldn't even beat the Pursuer on Dark Souls 2 and everyone thought, this is the easiest boss. <laughs> and I went, jeez, how bad am I at this game? But it's, it's it, you know, you, you really, you really uh, learn just how, how much, look, look, at, look at that now and, and how quickly you've come from, how, how much you've... Uh, how much I've grown in yeah, this for, game. And now... Yeah. I, and... The, when I first beat the Pursuer after doing that god-awful fight with him. Mm. I, I, that was another two-day type of thing. Two streams it took me to yeah. beat the Pursuer, the second boss in the game. So, and now I'm like, yeah. mate, that, and the feeling after that, it was just like, oh, it's got me hooked. It was like a yeah. drug then, you know? Yeah. Like you were on that come down from the drug, but then as soon as you beat that boss again, you're up, you're up, you're ready to go fight, you're ready to do it. Well, that's what I, then, with Super Metroid, I had similar similar feelings. After I'd beat a boss, I'd be like, okay, I can put some more time in now because I got past the part that was pissing me off, which was last night I was trying to do Ridley. And I was going to get off because people were saying it's a really tough fight. And I'm like, I don't really know. I don't really know if I have, it's, it's late. I'm like, I don't know if I have the time. But then I, when you beat the when fight. I beat them, I went back and got some more energy tanks so you get more health, yeah. beat, the, beat Ridley. And then after that, I'm like, oh, well, I can actually keep going now. Let's, let's keep playing. Yeah, I'm yeah. like, and so I was like, well, now I'm all the miss at the end. That's what I did when um, I think it was uh, one of the streams on my holidays. I kept playing and I think I played for six and a half hours or something mm. like that because I was, I was like, this is my last attempt on this stupid skeleton boss in Dark Souls 1. He's wrecking my face. Remember that one? And I just couldn't beat him. And I was just like, I'm done. This is my final attempt. I beat him. And then I played yeah. another friggin' hour yeah. and a half of this game after that point. Like, that was sick. Yeah, yeah. Rubber Beer said, uh, it's just friggin' satisfying when you get over those speed bumps. Yeah, that's it exactly is. right. It's, oh, the feeling. I get the leg shake. It's bouncing. And I'm like, dun, 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 and sweat's dripping down my arm. And I beat it. And then you get your health, the lowest you've had it. And then you start getting greedy. And you're like, no, 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 no don't be greedy. At the end, don't be greedy. Yeah, which was, the, which was that boss in uh, Bloodborne. Oh. <laughs> when you were over my place, man, that was fucking insane. Twice the, in a row. The bee's willy of yeah, health. Yeah. Yeah, just, you're like, ah! It was like he had nothing. There was no bit of red yeah. on that health bar. And for some reason, I died. I mean, you were underskilled. But, like, and, but we, that was the fun because we, we were just playing it. Yeah, I was just watching you play yeah, it. For, we were just mucking around and yeah, while yeah. we talk. But then you were like, "Oh, let's just try it anyway." And then you almost beat him. But that was that was the tough thing because you did almost get it. You're like, "Fuck!" It's like it almost it's trolling you. Yeah, I, and you're like, oh, "I could do it again," but no, I got to go home. It was the werewolf <laughs> boss in Bloodborne. It was the second, like, yeah, second boss. The second it, boss, but and I it just, was god awful at that game. But you were, but you weren't, um, but you were just yes. you weren't geared at all. You hadn't been. No, I because I've played up to the third boss of Bloodborne. So I, I started on uh, Jordan's account. So I just thought, I'll just speed run. 
It took me forever to beat that first boss because I had no, yeah, I had yeah, nothing. Yeah, but you did it first time. I did. I beat it that one first time. It was a long endurance fight. That yeah. One and then I had to go, and then went straight to that second. Yeah, boss. we just went. Fuck it, let's just go do it because yeah. it was pretty late. I leveled up a little bit and then went tried straight to yeah. it. And it was uh, it's, it, all it is is just viscerals. You have to do the viscerals yeah. at the beginning, and then you throw your oil and throw That's the right. the uh the bloody burning thing, whatever it is. Gas to two soul. How's it going, mate? What's happening, mate? You can skip the cleric beast, can you? That's that first boss. You don't need to beat him. Hmm. Well, <laughs> good on you. More fun to beat him, though. It uh, wasn't very hard. No, not he, when he, you were fighting him. You've you just got to roll. Your, yeah, you used all your freaking. I had, think I had blood 20. Balls. Yeah, I had 20 blood yeah. balls. But you had, didn't have any gear, so no. you would. Every time you got hit, you got smoked. Because I didn't even go down into the rat sewers to pick up that gear. No. I just went straight to the boss. Mm. Yeah. Um, so I really, I really, I like what they're doing. And Neo is like a good hybrid of, of a gear, a loot finder and those games. Yeah. What we were talking about when you called me the other day, I know how much you love calling me when I'm at the bus station. Yeah, yeah, just, I just, you're like lonely at the bus station. You gotta, you have faith in your old mate, spaghetti man. He'll come call you up. He'll yeah. give me a little <laughs> ring. Uh, and, and we were talking about the fact that in, uh, in dark, the, the TV show, they actually showed a, a portion of. Of oh, the two yeah, guys sitting there yeah. playing the surge yeah. together. I so, wonder if Etar watches that without subtitles. He's just a boss and just oh, <laughs> oh yeah, I'm sure he does. He's probably already seen it. He probably Mad has. Dog. Um, so that's old news here in Germany. Yeah, he's like we've been watching that for years. Um, so that's that was interesting because it, it gave me the idea um, that I think the I think that, that there is a market here for like a, at least a four player or two, two or four player completely co op. Um, Co-op game, uh, version of like Dark Souls or Bloodborne or anything like that. Yeah, there needs to be something like that, and there, and uh, surely there's some sort of ideas going around for the development of, of of that sort of thing. Yeah. So as Scuba said, apparently it is just all fashion. Bloodborne is so they give you tiny bits of stat boosts, but not n- nothing that's overly important. So. You what the hell are you on about Gas to Two Soul? Trying to make I, a bit of you. I like that that he tried to make a BLT, right? Oh, <laughs> and, and he just put bacon and then salad in the middle, so no bread. He's just that's like a bacon oh, sandwich. Oh, nice! But it fell apart, and uh, it, it's great, <laughs> dude. <laughs> Thank you for the follow, my man. We turned off the follower alert because it will blast everyone listening on the podcast. It should we, come up though. Yeah, it will come up on the screen. Thank you for the five, my man. Uh, is sur- is the surge good? I've heard it's significantly more average than Dark Souls. Uh, yeah, but uh, but you're talking about the two player. On yeah, surge, so right? I don't think it exists in in. Uh, and like what I said when I called you up, I was just like, um, it's kind of like the uh, the scene in uh, what does it call it? Breaking Bad. Yeah, where, where Jesse, Ray, where Jesse's Jesse playing Rage with a motion controller, yeah, light bloody, gun, light gun, yeah, and it doesn't happen it, no you cannot even play that game with that because it's not even first person i don't think is it first person? no rage is first person, first person? Yeah. yeah okay but it, it's just god awful that game was bad i bought that on release dude yeah and i didn't like it um i've heard other things about it to be honest i've heard it's actually pretty good i never i never i was like oh this is id it was id or id mm. whatever you want to call them they actually released that um sort of before they really went back to doom but I think it's, I've heard it, it's actually really good um, uh, uh, now. What's that? The Surge? No, Rage. Rage. Oh. The Surge. I was like, what? I'm like, I thought it's all gone. That's all Bethesda based now anyway. So. Well, the Bethesda published it. Yeah. Oh, no. se- 79 on Metacritic. So that's not, that's not amazing. Ooh, okay. Maybe I've spoken too soon here. About Surge? I wouldn't. No, Rage. User score of 5.2 with a meta score of 7.9. Jeez, I think that's. That's not great. Yeah. Uh, created by John Carmack and the rest of the Doom crew. Yeah. From, from ID. I, I don't know. I, uh, I, think, I think it's just it really cool if we had uh, some of those games be a bit more cooperative. We get back to, even if it's not couch co-op, even if it's online, like you buy, everyone needs a copy of the game. That's fine. But couch co-op would be great. Split screen. Yeah. It would be um, cool to see like a Dark Souls have that kind of system put in, but. I know they have like cooperative sort of elements in the game where you call people in and they assist you. But I, I mean like a full run through where there's, where, you know, binded loot drops like in Diablo 
Um, and like, like, see, Neo could really have Neo's got more elements of that. Where I believe the game would have to be harder than Dark Souls to add a co-op event like that. That's fine yeah. though. Scale it up if you have to. Yeah. But I think we re- that's that's the next step for these games, so that we just don't so they don't lose that. Like, would really would really be cool. You know, it's especially in terms of streaming um, as well. Like when you and Scuba were playing Neo together, you called yeah, him see- into your game. Well, what we did with Neo, Neo is like kind of the first game that does this. You know how because Neo base is chapter base, not yeah, not like not open Dark, world. Yeah, like Dark Souls is all open world. There's no real load times in the game. It's just you're in and you just walk around and there's yeah. all these little little hidden doors you go through. Um, you can go to the shrine and you can just call in a player and you play the whole match co-op, but they change it so you cannot rest at shrines in this in this one. So. In Neo, when you do a co-op event for the whole match, there's no shrines. Mm. You, the only thing you get at the shrine, you got a bar that's about this big, and every time someone dies, it goes down. And when yeah. that bar gets right to the end, it's over, game over. You have to do the whole thing again, the whole chapter again. I don't think Neo would work as an open world game, Scuba. I think. Um, I think it's because they're telling a story, yeah. and they got to go across Japan. That's what I mean. Yeah, it, because it was a they were they were trying to tell a supernatural slash real story like obviously they debased it on yeah. bullshit but they but the, the premise was true um i don't think that would work as an open uh, open world game um whereas dark souls they have free reign yeah you know it's a it's completely made up it's it's not it's completely uh and i love the maze of dark souls yeah it's just wherever you just go and i i do find neo just a bit easier there is hidden little uh shrines and stuff around the place where you can rest at and all that kind of mm. stuff but it's nothing like Dark Souls where it's all woven and it's like a big beehive in this yeah. area and you just end up going there. I think um I I think the I think that the, the the strength of Neo comes from its chapter oh, base. Like it's different. It's gotta separate itself from those games. Kinda like that uh Gaster Wool Soul. He was talking about he's like I'd love making my own horror game that's kinda like Silent Hill 2, Resident Evil. And the evil within, with some Lovecraftian in it. Mm, so that's not cool. many Lovecraftian um, games. That's like co- Bloodborne's Steampunk. love. Uh, Bloodborne is based on Lovecraft. Is it work? Yeah, so really. It's very intertwined with Lovecraftian. But yeah. is it actually? No, it's not. But they people Used talk elements. of the elements uh, from okay, that right. Lovecraft. His name's um, Gaster Tusol, <laughs> not Gaster Wosol. I didn't even see that Gaster Tusol. Yeah, it's <laughs> Gaster Tusol. Whatever, mate. All right, Scuba. See you, buddy. See you, mate. Um. So, <laughs> yeah, I, I I really want that to be something that's that hopefully we get in the future is a bit more of push. If they're going to go, if they're going to have this these elements in the games where they're really tough, let's get some two player, let's get some co op, couch co op, let's get some online co op. But I hope they don't ruin it. Well, I don't but see like, how they can they, ruin it. If they could make a whole new IP where they do it like that and not that's what pull I'm saying. I'm not, I'm not saying I'm not saying make Dark Souls. Yeah, like they could okay. do that. Sure. But if they do that, they need to work on the scaling. Yeah, because look what they did with um, with uh, you know um, I forgot the name of it again. Horror game, Dead Space. Dead Space, where they went Dead Space one and two, mm. and then three they brought in co- co-op, and it was garbage. But that doesn't, but that doesn't, that almost doesn't lend itself to co-op at all. Because no. we're talking about horror. Yeah, like it, it, that's that removes a complete an element of the game completely. Yeah. Um, and I think that really we're talking about a, this game is might have horror elements or like scariness to yeah. it, but the tough part, the, the hard part is the game itself, the gameplay. It's a tough game. Yeah. So, and and then it opens up the 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 game to like strategies involving two players versus one. You know, like oh, is this is this this fight is tough. Um, but when you do it with two people, this is what you need to do. This person needs to be this. And and then you can also have, so like, oh, I'm going to be a magic based class where I'm going to basically like, uh, you know, be squishy, Assist, but a bit yeah. very powerful yeah. and you, you can tank, you know, that sort of stuff. Like, mm-hmm. it, it makes sense. It'd be cool to have that. I mm. would be keen as, but let's get back on topic. Cause I, this is the topic kind of, it's that we're talking about hard games. We're talking about hard games, but are they making is because of this hard game? Is it making every other game? Now, the trend is it to make hard games. So like Neo, we talked about Neo, but let's go into Cuphead. Let's go into the drama that Cuphead had yes. when this first was released. People were liking the look of this game. 
they didn't mention that it was a hard game. They just mentioned it was a platformer. Yeah. Um, so people were buying it for their family members, little kids, and like because they're like, oh, this is 1940s, 50s look. It looks really great. It's got cool music, cool tunes. Bang, one of the hardest games people have ever played in their life. Yeah. Which trended people going, yes, this is a Souls-like game. Souls-like. That's the new trending word. I wonder if that's a Steam tag yet. I wouldn't. I wouldn't be surprised. Look, I'm gonna look yeah, that way. He's you gonna keep look at a slim tag, yeah. a, a sleeve tag. <laughs> <laughs> um, what are you talking about here? He's, 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 he's pitching us a game. Oh, you're pitching us a game. I don't think I can make a game to be honest. <laughs> PC gamer, <laughs> PC gamer article. The Souls like label needs to die. It does. <laughs> I hate the Souls like type of name because I'm like every game back in the days was hard. Mm. Because they didn't have much content in the game, so they made it harder so you could spend hours and hours trying to get past that one point and then you finish your one-hour game that originally is designed to be. Guys, don't fight in front of the children. Why not? Aaron and I never fight. We never fight. We, we, we bicker. We're like a, we're like a bickering, yeah, old, bickering old yeah, old couple. Yeah. That's what we are. Like, you know, 60-year-olds where they're all bickering with each other? Oh, bloody Jeff. He never does anything. He sits on his goddamn ass all the time. That's how all the women here in Australia talk. All the old, old codgers. What are you talking? What are you looking at now, man? What are you looking at? I'm looking at all the the, the top ten upcoming Souls like games. Oh come on, Souls like. Um. But mind you, I I do like the repetition. But I'm I don't know if I'm gonna like Cuphead. I really don't think I will enjoy Cuphead. I don't I don't think I enjoy the hard title they put on things. I enjoy Dark Souls because it's a sweet RPG game. Mm. It's hard, but you can see the light at the end of the tunnel every mm. time you beat it because you slowly get better. Well, this is why I wanted to play Divinity. So there's, there's a real, I think, why I was talking about co-op before is because I want to, I haven't had a good co-op experience for, for a while. Um, yeah. You go into the park to feed ducks. Oh, yes. Dude, that's sick. Grab a biz. Hopefully the snow's not too thick today. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to have to like break a hole in the ice and the mm. duck comes out of it and then you feed it because they hibernate under the water. No, I don't know. I'm speaking I shit, dude. I think so. <laughs> Is there even ducks in the snow? Yeah, probably. A snow duck. Snow. That's right. They're white. Yeah. Um, I mean, oh, us. <laughs> we should go. Yeah, we should go and feed the ducks because yeah. we're an old That's bickering right. couple. You bring the loaf of bread. Yeah. <laughs> um, bring the crust that you yeah. save up in the That's freezer. Right. Yeah, I was so excited until you ruined it. Yeah, you, you stuffed it all up. Um, so I think um, that's just why I really want a co-op version of this. Like, I just, I think there's we obviously we're not talking about that specifically, but these games they when you play them if you haven't before, <laughs> I I think um, I think that this would actually be, uh, they actually really open you up to like going oh shit like I really like Neo. I I haven't played it f- for a week or so because I've been a bit busy, but I, I honestly just think um th- well, they are they have a massive appeal. Well, you can play Neo completely co-op the whole game. Yeah, you can, but you don't get the full experience of the game because you don't use shrines. Like shrines are basically useless. Mm. You only gather more co-op time to play because um when the bar goes to the end, you basically it's game over. Yeah. I like that you can switch from tank controls to normal standard controls. And every time you reset your game, something always different, like your clothing changes and Jeez. puzzles change and character gender would change. That's pretty full on. So, yeah, it, I, I think, um, what, what we what was the question you asked me? What did you ask me? I don't know. Go back to the, the notes, mate. I'm just, I I'm just sprayed crap. Don't even worry. Um, so we're talking about uh, Cuphead. Yeah, we're talking about Cuphead and stuff like that. But I think the... Had a brain fade there, mate. I think the thing with the Cuphead, it's a platformer. Mm. And there's been hard platformers. Like you've got the whole um, meat, Super Meat Boy. A rough as guts, hard platformer. Isn't that like Castlevania for Super NES? Like yeah, fucking... hard. Super hard, man. Like all these. And I think it's Castlevania 3 is notoriously hard. Oh, okay. I think that's what it is. Like, But platformers are hard. Mm. But when has an RPG been hard, like a Dark Souls well, game? Well, not for like a long that? time. Yeah. And I think that's the point where you can lose everything when you die. Mm. 
And but do you think the retro games being it's like the trend of retro video games is creeping up. Like, do you mean like retro indie games or do you mean like an actual... Like the retro games, like the retro market, the retro everything yeah, has yeah, been yeah. creeping up. Do you think this is the push for making harder games? It's definitely influencing it. Yeah. Definitely. Definitely the uh, the idea that we, that we don't have games that are like Castlevania anymore. You yeah. know what I mean? We don't have a... But now people go, well, I'm an indie developer. It takes one person behind a computer to, to develop Castlevania again. Yeah. Because it, where it took a team previously. It's a small team. Yeah. So they, they, the teams were nowhere near the size they have today. That's right. But it's much easier because one person can do it quite easily. And a lot cheaper too. They don't need to have crazy no. hardware to make no, it. No, that's right. Yeah. It's all just, you just sit there and do it yourself. And so there's much more people who want, who want certain things can actually go out of their way and do it themselves. Um, and, you know, the best rises uh, to the top. The best of those games. So um, I'd say that it really does uh, lend itself to people who really want to see those games again, just going out of their way to make them. Yeah. They just go in and go, yep, excellent. We're, we're going for um, we're going for this sort of take. We're going for like a side-scroller RPG, you know. Like Hollow Knight. Hollow Knight was the same mm-hmm. thing as a side-scroller RPG, but hard as well. Yeah, well, you you know, it, it's, it's side-scroller like an old Super Nintendo game, but... All the best parts of new RPGs, so like really in depth character creation, or like maybe really in depth gearing or skill systems. I think the skill systems have ramped up. That's the biggest yeah. thing. The biggest difference. Yeah, that's games, what I mean. Yeah. So you take the best of both worlds and you make a, a a more fantastic version of an old style game. And those people who love that nostalgia will just come out of the woodwork for that game, yeah. and then they'll enjoy it if they like the difficult side of it as well. Yeah, and it's they're really rewarding, as you said. Like when you Super get rewarding. past that boss, I have never been so hooked on a game since I used to play Final Fantasy back in the days, where I yeah. just wanted to watch more of the story. And this is where it's going to lead into my next question: Do you prefer challenging games over story? Um, no, I still prefer story games. Yeah. Okay, it, that's just me. Um, I've always liked. I, I really enjoy. It's just I like movies. Like I love movies. Yeah, and um. If if I get if I get a lot of story and I get immersed in a world through the story, that's much more important to me than um, how difficult or how much of a how rewarding the game was over mm. a long period of time. But I think it pl- that plays into replayability. Mm. Like how many times do you see a movie? How many times do you play a story driven game when there's no nothing else pulling you back? Yeah. I, uh, yeah. I, it, it, that just depends. So like that, they won't be quite as replayable. No. But the impact that some of those games have on you. Well, for The Last of Us, for example, that huge. The yeah. impact it played on people's lives was massive. The whole story with Ellie and, um, what's his name, Joel. It was oh, it's one so of the most cool. moving yeah. stories probably in, in video game history. Hmm. But um, I think, I think w- that's, there's, there's, it's important to have all the, those sorts of games and hard games. You need both. Mm-hmm. You can't just have one or the other. If you have too many story games, people call out for um, difficult games. If you have too many difficult games with no story, yeah. people will go like, "Where's our Where's our great our great story games?" So definitely the the Souls like games is just definitely the newest hottest trend at the moment. Mm. Everyone using the Souls like or it's sort of like a, it's sort of like a it's for nerds to be to something for nerds to brag about. Oh, have you played this Souls like game? Have you beaten this Souls like game? Yeah. Well, I've doing beaten it, on it. New game plus fifteen. Exactly. Yeah. Like it's and it's it's because you were talking about a, a place where actually, um, and I and I honestly, this is gonna sum up the actual main thing is like no, I do not think that because of Dark Souls, it's not making this trend of hard games come up. There's always been hard games. It's just this is the biggest title of a hard game in the last. Decade, the most well done, yeah. the most. Um, it's probably streaming has has really influenced it as well. It would because Cuphead probably wouldn't be as big as if it wasn't for the streamers. That's getting right. Pissed off at it because so. streamers go, oh, what the hell is this? This is hard. Excellent. People will like me. Will like watching me play this yeah. because it's going to frustrate me. It's getting gonna... over it. Yep. Yep. Not really. What a piece of shit game that is. That wrecked my life. Bennett Foddy. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to call him Todd Foddy again. Todd Foddy. <laughs> <laughs> I just uh, like the way the guy talks to you after you fuck oh, up. And and then the jazz or the oh, old yeah. school music and you're like, shut up, mate. It yeah. gives you some quote. It triggers you, yeah. man. That triggers yeah. you. It's so fucking good. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I think it's, overall, I honestly reckon really, this is, it's, it's really just beginning. 
And I, and I hope that, like like I said, it branches off in different areas. It doesn't just go, oh, we're just going to keep recreating Dark Souls we're gonna, and we're just going to add tack on stuff no, to it. No, and like Miyazaki I, said, he said, this Dark Souls is done. I'm like, I, I honestly want them to just go, all right, so let's use elements. Let's make hard games, but let's do it with a shooter. Let's do it. Let's do it with a co-op isometric game, which is sort of what Divinity sounds like it is. Mm. Where yeah. you go, like it's totally co-op. I feel Divinity Original Sin One was harder than Divinity Original Sin Two. Well, because I, I remember I, I went and grabbed I a spade and I went and dug up a grave and I died instantly. I couldn't play fucking Divinity One. I hated it. It was so. I was like, this is just not fun. Mm. I, I found it too frustrating. Um, but I was playing it on console, so. And I think it, it that or that whole CRPG genre that's just came up out of the woodwork again. That is because of the rebirth of old retro games. Yeah, that's and they they're hard. They've always been hard. Yeah, like the Baldur's Gates and all that kind of stuff. They've always been and, rough. And I, I think that like Diablo is sort of an in between of that. Like it's not, it's not like that. It's not. It is an RPG, but it's an isometric like you know dungeon crawler. Yeah. So you so you don't the RPG elements of Diablo three are minuscule. Oh, yeah. They're nothing compared to Diablo two. No, yeah. and Diablo One has a, has quite a few uh, RPG elements, but Diablo Two has it has it really really good with skill points, and, yeah. and it really focuses on skill. And you can trees. really screw your character over if you put the wrong spells in. You can just be like, "Well, I don't like the spell." I don't know if you can reset. I think yeah. single player characters. There's plenty of mods out there yep. in Diablo Two for a complete reset okay. um, or a reskill. It's pretty it's pretty shit, but like because you can you can just completely mod. And make it not fun because it's too easy. But yeah. like, if you just wanted to reset your skill points, I'm pretty sure there's some mods out there that can do it. So I honestly believe that the 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 trending hard games have just come out because of the retro style that everyone wanted. They grew up on. Mm. All of us gamers that are creeping up to our 30s, are we still playing video games? Probably speaks to being more unsatisfied with the bigger AAAs at the moment. That's why indie titles have been some yeah. of the best games I've played in the last little while. So you know, you're getting Call of Duty for the 12th time yeah and you're getting a bit tired and i've been feeling like this for years and then now that people are finally bringing these mm. out small companies are kickstarting them these things are growing too huge. many assassin's creed games yeah. too many bloody far cry games we're like we know like these you games don't need are, another one these games are okay we're not saying they're bad games let we're the franchise saying, die when it needs like, to die maybe you don't run it into the ground and then make people sort of go and that's Ugh. western for you like that is uh, definitely Western orientation for you right there because when it, like you can see it in TV shows, you look at The Office, three seasons for British, mm. done. We've had we've had our time. Rich Gervais went, yeah, this is it. I'm having I've had enough. Mm. You look at freaking that in Western, yeah. like nine seasons in, and you're like, have you had enough yet? Yeah, it, it do you is, need to keep going? It's just a difference of I think it's just a, a real the game. There's not a lot of big pub. Like, there's only a few big publishers for games, like yeah. massive publishers that are doing these, these, these practices of re- releasing so many of the same type of game over and over again. And is that because and there's it's no the whole Western thing where they've well, got games companies. are very new. Look at yeah. this. Only in the last like 15 years have games become so mainstream. Mm. And but movies and TV shows have been around for a hundred years. When did the fuck the TV get invented? Long time ago. Yeah, true. Maybe not a hundred years. Maybe no. a bit less than hundred years. But they've been around long enough that we can like games have only been around a while, so they're going to milk everyone well, look for what everything Activision they can. Did to bloody Guitar Hero? They destroyed that franchise. Yeah, they don't care, and that's what I'm saying. Like, so people love. There's plenty of people who love Guitar Hero who would be like, I can't believe they did that, and now I can't play new Guitar Hero games. If they did that, with, like. You know, if Sony Computer Entertainment did that to The Last of Us, I'd be like, oh my God. You know, like, what did you do? Why, why did yeah. you even do that? Like, you, yeah. you just destroyed my my most favorite game. And that's why I'm kind of happy that Miyazaki did this with mm, um, Dark, Dark Souls, Souls yeah. how he said three. And he's like, I th- I'm pretty sure it's done. That's good. Mm. It's fine. There's, it doesn't mean you have to go away from gaming altogether. It's no, just that he's just going to make a new franchise, yeah. a new story that's going to have the same gameplay. You don't need to continue a yeah. story and run it to the ground where it doesn't. So I feel anything. like with um one of these ones that, that before we go one of the ones that really pisses me off is Ghost Recon. Ghost Recon was never a massive game. Ghost yep. Recon was not a household name, right? Yeah. But Ubisoft decided let's turn Ghost Recon into a household name. And some people were like, yeah, let's get on it. And some of those games are pretty damn good. But they really like force the point. And they keep doing it. Like yeah. Ghost Recon Wildlands, they they're like Buy this fucking game. And, it's and like, Ghost Recon. They're like, it's Ghost Recon, man. Like, 
Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon was like the least good of all the Tom Clancy games. Well, maybe not. Maybe End War was pretty shit too. <laughs> but like, you do that with Rainbow Six. They've turned Rainbow Six Siege into a fantastic game. But, 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 but it's Rainbow, weird, isn't it? But Rainbow Six has a great name to it. Like people have played Rainbow Six since PlayStation 1. I loved Rainbow Six. Because that was a hard game too. Yeah, absolutely. Very hard yeah. game. So I think that they, they're turning and they're going, Ghost Re- we're going to make Ghost Recon a thing. The Ghost Recon team's like, this is the next best thing. It's like, look, dude, you guys, it's Ghost Recon. It's a really weird, obscure, like, like what is it? People don't even necessarily know what it means. And it keeps changing every game. Yeah. Future Soldier, Advanced Warfighter. You know, you're like, dude, I don't know that people are really clawing for this. So, but they keep forcing the point. So, uh, uh, and I think people go, fuck it. I'm going to go play. I'm going to go play the game that's made by the smaller person. This one guy, this Miyazaki, who's, who's designed works it. Works from software. From, yep. yep. And he's, it's not a big game, but he's like, he's just, he's making a complex, difficult game that will take you hours to complete. And and I think that's where we are now. And I'm hooked. Yeah. And I can't, and then I can't all, get enough. Exactly. And all of a sudden you're hooked. So yeah. yeah. So I think it's got to do with retro games coming up. Like just creeping back up into the market, indie developers. Yeah. And people being sick and tired of the same shit being regurgitated to them with video games. Yeah. Because we're we've been gaming for majority of our life mm-hmm. at this point now. We're pretty spoiled. We have. But, but eventually like, the spoiled child still will turn around and go. We're getting pissed off yeah. because we want something good where we used to get good. But get now we're getting the same shit. We're getting the same shit regurgitated to us, mm. but not at the same standard it used to be. We have to wait six months until it's patched or we have to pay for DLC to get core content for our game. Yeah, that's and, a massive And problem. we've had enough. And that's why these harder games and these really cool Unu- unusual type games are coming up and we're just we're clawing a bits together. Yeah, the AAA publishers have done it to themselves. They've decided they, they're all fighting that race to the bottom of profit rather than um, of They're uh, running a huge business. They're not, yeah. running, they're not running entertainment anymore. They're not trying to make no. something that's... See, I mean, I, I, there was a lot of great EA published games like the Burnout series, which is gone. Yep. Um, from oh, Criterion. Anything but, from EA Sports back in the days, like the basketball games, way, yeah. way back. Like I'm talking when I was like 12. They were so goddamn Medal fun. of Honor, they ruined Medal of Honor because yep. um, that was an EA game from day one. No Dr- way. DreamWorks and EA. DreamWorks? DreamWorks. <laughs> what the hell? Okay, yeah. Um, so uh, yeah, like they, they've, done, they've done a lot of damage and they, they sort of don't care. No. And I think this is, we're, we're at now, it, I think we're just, People are done. People are like, yep, let's, there's, there's more options. The free market has actually made it more versatile f- for, for gamers. And we, we, I go into the shops and I go, who the fuck is from software? Or who the hell is Team Ninja? Yeah. And then, like, oh, they made Ninja Garden. And you're like, oh, okay, that's pretty cool. Like, I've heard of those games. You're like, this game's got really good reviews. Team Ninja. I'm like, oh, sweet. And you go and you learn. You're like, oh, this game is fucking crazy. Yeah. And we've still got to get onto Ninja Gaiden Black. We've still got to get onto that. All right. That's it. Um, Thanks for sticking around, whoever did. Yeah, rubber beers. It kind of gas of uh, two soul. Yeah, we just kind of uh, spoke shit at the end there. We didn't really have any, any direction. No, that's all right. That's all good. We were just getting our thoughts yeah. out in the open. Yeah, we, we really we really do podcast. enjoy the hard games, but um, yeah, we're just sick of the souls like its title and sick of the triple A garbage they feed us yeah. every year. That's right. Um. Yeah. So anyway, what, what are we doing this year? What are we doing this year? This so year, 2018, yeah. I'm still continuing with um, the, uh, the Game Snob series. Well, I'm going to continue with my, my love for these tough video games. And, um, they, and I'm going to keep going through. I'm going to get to Bloodborne after Dark Souls 3. No, no. I'm going to Demon Souls after Dark Souls oh, 3. Okay. And then I'm off to Bloodborne. Then I'm off to Neo. There you go. And then who knows? I might be at the Salty Sanctuary. I might be at there. I might might be over at Hollow Knight. I might be over at wherever. I I don't know where this is, where this journey is going to take me, but yeah, it's going to be fun. And I think um, I'm just going to keep going. So after Red Dead, we'll just see. Um, I'm not sure if I'll go back to a game I haven't yeah. played before. I am going to be switching it up with the games coming out this year because there is some games mm. I do want to play. Yeah, we don't want to put anything in we don't stone wanna, because there'll be newer games. Yeah, we, we try. don't want to be pushing out the new games and just playing all of our games we want to play. Yeah. Like, I will be playing Nino Kuni 2. <laughs> Even, and Jordan's just like, it's like the name, Nino Kuni. Nino Kuni 2. I'll be playing so that. so weeby. 
Um, and I, I, I will be playing Red Dead 2 when that comes out. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. Um, I don't know what else. I don't even, I've been looking at the list and I'm like, I remember there's, oh, I will be playing Lost Sphere as well. That's a new game from Tokyo RPG Factory. Mm. Um, so there is games with, that are in there, but I guess we, you will just have to be surprised when you watch them. Yeah. And they pop up on stream. We'll announce them. We'll announce what we're playing. Yeah, exactly. Some of the games people might want to watch me play, but check in on the podcast yeah. for what we're what we're jump playing. over in our Discord as well. Yeah, you can watch. Discord's that. pretty active for 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 Aaron and I um, about what we're what we're doing. Yeah. So um, subscription chats. Who gets the first knowledge? So if you subscribed, you will get access, and you'll know before we've just before we've told everyone else. Yeah. But yeah. Cool. Let's finish up. Uh, thank you guys for sticking around. Thank Looking you. forward to it. Thank you, Emily, for watching the whole thing as usual. Yep. And, uh, thank we'll you. see you next yeah, time. Thank you for being here as well. You're a, a regular goer over here at No Objective Gaming. Thank bloody you. legend. You want to hear the for, bloody Aussie slang, man? Yeah. Thank you for hanging out with kick us. Kick a fucking dingo. <laughs> <laughs> Don't kick animals. No. But only dingoes. No. You filthy animals, Don't mate. kick <laughs> animals. All right. Don't punch kangaroos in the face either. They'll no. get you. They'll kick you real good. They'll kick you and they got sharp claws. That's right. All right. Thanks, Big Proper Synth. We'll see Thanks, you next mate. time. Um, yeah. Don't forget, we will be streaming throughout the week. So That's right. Don't forget to click that little follow button. And if you want to be notified, you can jump in our Discord or just turn on notifications over at Twitch exactly. and you can be notified. Yes. Okay. All right, guys. See you later. See you next time. You will.